there. Florida State is the big one, and I think, Chris, that's going to have the most direct impact on the SEC because there are people who seem to think that if Florida State, just for reference, if you haven't been following this, Florida State, you mentioned J.P. Morgan Chase, essentially trying to raise the money, I guess is how you would put it, right, Chris, to, to, to get out of the ACC contract, essentially, to get out of whatever the deal is and, and all that. And, and they have until, look at the Tampa Bay Times here, the deadline for them to leave in time for 2024. So to leave in time for next season to join whatever conference they join is August the 15th. That's not a long time away. So they've got to do this quickly if they're going to make this move. And I think that's where the SEC portion of this comes in. I think a lot of people believe that the SEC would be a, a major player if this were to be the case. But I'm going to tell you this, Chris, I got something from bookies.com. And they put together some odds on Florida State's next move here. And I know we're all over the place, oh. but remember, <laughs> this is conference realignment, okay? So we're, we're bringing up multiple conferences, multiple teams, but this is how this works. So the email I got from them this morning is that Florida State's next odds, then they've put together, so it says hypothetical odds to which, which um, this could happen. Big 10 would lead the way at minus 130, so 56.5% on the odds. SEC plus 110, 47.6%. Um, stay in the ACC or go elsewhere, 9%. So let's just call it what it is. Florida State's leaving the ACC. It's happening. Wait, wait, wait. Is that, that's got to be 0.9% because those numbers don't add up. Okay, whatever. Yeah, 0.9%. That's what, yeah. My, that was my point I was going to make. They're going to the, the Big Ten or the SEC. But I think that for us, I think this is where the conversation probably starts from an SEC standpoint. I told you before we started recording, I – I just don't see it. I think the timing for Florida State to go to the SEC, it seems like the timing of this thing doesn't fit because of what, right? We know Texas and Oklahoma is running next year. Um, Greg Sankey's made it, you know, like we, we talked about this, I think, at SEC Media Day. He made it very clear he was most focused on that on those two guys, those two teams, programs, schools, joining the SEC, Texas and Oklahoma. Um, and this would have to be a very quick move, right? Um I mean, the big, tw the big 10 is just like, they're not hesitating to pull any sort of moves here. I, I, right now I would probably agree that I think the big 10 would be the favorite if Florida state left, but I never discount anything when it comes to the sec, because no. I think that they carry the most weight and what's important here. And I'm reading this from ESPN, uh, a Andrea Adelson here has the kind of talking about the, the move that Florida State would make. And it kind of talks about ACC schools would essentially be $30 million behind per year from a TV revenue distribution standpoint, behind like the Big Ten and the SEC. Ooh. So that's a lot of money. And Well, the, the contract was going to be $20 million a year, and that was through Apple TV, right? Or, or something along those lines? I don't know. That, that was – I don't know what it was. I, that was a pack – <laughs> I don't I have no idea. I couldn't tell you. This has been moving so fast. Um so th there's so much we could play off of here. Um, Cause again, Florida state, the exit fee is $120 million. And per this article, Ooh. they would have to pay $120 million for the exit fee, go to court to challenge the existing grant of rights. And which again, that's, that's the contract essentially. That's the, the contract for current ACC media rights schools and all that. So, which, which goes to 2036, I believe. Correct? 2036. Yeah. So, um, and it says that, you know, who is this? And, and again, we're just we're basically just giving you guys information to start with here because that's going to kind of fuel the conversation. Um, Florida State President Richard McCullough is the, the person, and he gave a quote to ESPN, you know, saying that basically falling behind $30 million annually versus the other conferences is not sustainable for us. Um, basically, he said the timing for us to do something radical is not known, but it's not 2036. So essentially, I'm just saying, like, I... I think this is very clear. Florida State's making a move. I don't think they're staying put. They're doing this for a reason. They know that their time is, it's a race against time at this point to get out and they're going to get out. And I think it's a matter of where they go and why we're doing well, this because I think the SEC is either one or two when you kind of look at where Florida State's at after all this mess. The, the headline on CBS about Florida State, I think it was today, was they had quoted – I think a board of trust member, I presume anonymously, it was not, not a matter of if, but how and when. Yeah. So 
by the way, what are the what are the when, when do the windows expire on those betting odds? I'm just curious. I have no idea. Because I mean, what what does Florida yeah. State is not leaving the ACC may may be true today, but not true in a week. So um, how, we're gonna, how about this? We're gonna play a predictions game. All right, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna play predictions here. All right, we're gonna start with Florida State. Florida State winds up where? Big Ten. See, I think I'm going to go Big Ten too. Like, I I don't know why. I just I could see the SEC jumping in if it's if the money is there. I just I don't know why I'm going to go Big Ten too. But we're probably going to get all these wrong, and I'm fine if we do. Um, well, and and let me before you go to the next one, there there was something I wanted to say because you kind of read my mind. You and I were at Media Day. We were in the room as Greg Sankey spoke, and I don't know if you want to read his statement. It's basically he was asked about expansion. And he said, we're focused on. He gave an on answer we now. <laughs> well, what, what word was not in there? I don't remember. Or what he phrase no. was it, 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 Right. That's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. And it, I'm not, I'm not saying, Oh, that means they're doing this. I'm just saying, and it's the smart answer, right? He, he may have meant in his, in the back of his head, I, I would have loved to, uh, how many, who, how much would you pay to be able to read his mind? He may have been thinking, "Hey, man, we got all we can handle with sixteen right now. I've got work up to my ears. I, I don't even want to deal with this anymore." But you can't, even if that's how he feels, you can't say no because you never know what domino is going to fall next and force your hand. It was the smart answer, and he always gives a smart answer. But anyway, 